Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I will finally be doing my closet tour because it is officially finished. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So one of the first changes I made, I originally wanted a closet full of clothes, but I realized it was too cluttered. I had like 12 different racks of clothing. So what I ended up doing to make it more suitable for you know my lifestyle changes, I now am an avid purse collector, so I needed more room for those. So across all on the back wall, I have a bunch of bags and I decided to use the bottom space for denim and jeans. And I have different types of jeans. Like I have flares down there. I have crop jeans. I have slouchy jeans, skinny jeans, etc. And also I start with this first row at the bottom. I have Prada, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. Also, I got this little snow globe from Home Goods. I wish it stayed like this but it doesn't, but it's still cute. And also these little racks I got from Amazon and I can link everything below for you. On this row, I have Celine, Moschino and Valentino. Now, mind you, these swap around all the time. So they might not be in the same spot tomorrow, but this is also from Home Goods. They are great for things like this, for adding, you know, a little bit of accessories to your space. Down here, of course, Home Goods. I think actually that came from Target. Balenciaga Chanel. This is also from Home Goods. Fendi and a bunch of jewelry. Actually, this display I got from Kendra Scott when I used to work there. They were getting ready to throw it away and I was like, no, give it to me. I could use it eventually and I'm using it. This little thing here, I forgot where I got this from, but I just keep studs and a couple of necklaces in here. This is holding currently one of my bracelets but I have a little fake plant back there too. And then I have my Chanel Dior, Burberry, more Prada, Louis Vuitton, they're all mixed up. I tried to do like a coordination of different colors side by side, just so I wouldn't have two black bags together and I'm OCD. <laughs> this needs to be standing up. I like it like this. But yeah, I just have a bunch of different, you know, colors scattered about. I'm all about my color and it's nice to mix them in with neutrals. Also, I have my entire bag collection. I don't want to continue going through them, but I have that posted on YouTube already in case you're interested. But I just wanted to show you, you know, the different ways you can organize your bags with California closets. Also, I should mention, I moved these valet rods. I used to have these with my clothing racks. The beauty about these, you can put them in if you're not using them. You can pull it out if you are and you can hang clothes on them, bags, whatever. And they are mobile. You can move them around however you want. So yeah, this is just nice if I wanna add a pop of color. If I wanna put the outfit that I'm wearing, I can put it there. You can put anything you want on them. That's the flexibility of them. And next, this corner space, I currently have designer sneakers. And in the back, I have some SLGs, some card holders and such. This corner is a mess. <laughs> I need to find somewhere to put all of this stuff, but this is a giveaway prize at the moment. Over here, I have a bunch of sneakers. I'm an avid sneaker collector as well. I love my kicks and I have a bunch of different brands. I made sure to leave extra space in case I decide to grow, which I will. And if you remember, these were also clothing racks like that, but I will have a link to my old one down below, but it felt way too cluttered. And I love how with California closets, you can move everything around to how you need it to be. I actually recycled some of my materials from my last closet to use in here. I just added additional shelving basically to make what I needed. So also I decided to keep my clothing iron rack. So that's what this is in the event that I want to iron, which is usually never. Then why are you here? I can use this and it opens like this. And it also rotates. So that's that. But I don't really use this. <laughs> it's kind of for looks, you know. And I just keep some room spray and fabric refresher in there. Just for convenience. And it hides it nicely. And the gold hardware matches, basically, the furniture, the valet rods, everything else. Right here. This is also from California Closets. I'm only gonna show you the drawers that are organized because they are not. But this used to be my handbag space, but I've now moved it to designer heels. So Bottega, Dior, and others, Fendi. Okay, so up here, 
I have a bridal picture from me and my husband. I have this diffuser, which complements the gold very nicely. This jewelry tray is also actually from Kendra Scott. I paid for this, this was not given to me. And actually it was given to me. It was like a PR gift or something from Kendra Scott. This tray is recycled. I forgot what I had in this, but I just have a bunch of random things in there. Jewelry that needs to go up and all of that. Back here I have extra jewelry dust bags. I got this from Amazon. So if I wanna store my jewelry in those, I can do that. Top drawer is kind of a mess, but it's organized for the most part. I have a bunch of earrings at the top. My hoops are at the bottom. And then these are awesome. These are from Kendra Scott. I did used to work there, so I know I'm promoting a lot of their stuff, but I truly love their stuff. Okay, so these are called lobe wonders. If you have small ears like me and you want to wear bigger earrings, you can put these on the back of your earrings and that basically puts the weight on these rather than in your ears. So it makes them lighter so they don't tug your earlobes. I do use these from time to time when I'm wearing bigger earrings. Those are nice. And then, yeah, that's all you need to see in here because the rest of it is junk and unorganized. This drawer, the front of it, ignore. <laughs> I have some rings here and then bracelets down there. Cuffs and all of that. This is nothing but junk. I'm not gonna even show y'all. This one, I have my designer sunglasses. I have some cases back here. More sunglasses under there. More junk down there. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> so I kept these in place from my last closet video. These are just some necklace racks. I don't know if I had one right here, but I ordered two or three of them in the room and I realized I didn't have enough. That's the beauty also of California closets. If you wanna add or make changes, you can do just that. And so I put this here and I put a gold one here too, like for more gold necklaces because Gold is my favorite metal. What can I say? I kept this the same. If you remember from last time, it was a bunch of shoes. Ignore these two. A lot of these shoes I need to donate, but yeah, I have heels right here. A few boots mixed in at the bottom. And this is a bunch of PR stuff I need to go through. And this, I don't know what happened, but yeah, you get the idea. Up top, I have some regular handbags, some some fanny packs, tote bags, backpacks, all of that. Up here, I have some caps. And then this, my husband actually got from me from Home Goods, I believe. And it was black, but I spray painted it green because I love green. <laughs> and I use this to hang, you know, jackets that I'm wearing. Like this is the jacket I wear to the gym. A bodysuit that I've worn that I want to wear again, but I don't want to hang it back up in the closet. That is here. Basically things I've worn that I don't want to hang in the closet, okay? I have a feather duster here that I used to dust my shelves. I believe this came from Amazon. And I have this broom that I actually got from Thailand. And I just think it's nice and bougie to sweep the floors when I have to. I'm cleaning up and I'm moving on. And that's also green, in case you were wondering. Here, I have a bunch of designer caps and a backpack. A bunch of extra masks, cause you know we need those. These were already here. I just had something else. I think I had some type of purses hanging in here, but I changed it to be this. So that's that. Moving on. So I have not really decided what I want to do with these shelves. That's why those are there. But these are still lit. So I can change the brightness. They still have lighting. Down here, I have a few pair of designer sandals and then here I have my designer boots. And that is all for sandals and boots. So I have plenty of room to grow and figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do with everything else. But this is my desk. In this little thing here, I have random stuff. At the bottom, I have a bunch of uh, products for content I need to shoot. In the middle, I have a couple of camera lenses some mic accessories and my cameras in here too that I use for YouTube. And then at the top, I have some lights that I bought that I might install on the shelf space. I haven't decided yet, the LED lights. And I have other random stuff. Here's my desk and my coffee. I need to take a sip. Sorry, that's not product placement. It kind of is though, I love the coffee shop. Anyway, this is my desk. This is a clear acrylic organizer I got from Amazon. I love planning, coloring, all of that. 
those are a bunch of pins. I have more than this, but I also have a pin holder that those are in. These are just some stickers or whatever you call these. Some push pins for my map. I have more stickers, a few rubber bands, some sticky notes or post-its, whatever you call them. And then I have extra planner inserts. I have next year in here already, so. Up here, I have a coloring book. I have an empty potter that I need to put something in. My last plant diet, so that's that. Then I have this calendar that I also need to switch out. It stopped in September, so I need to order some more customized calendar inserts. I'll have a link to where you can get those down below. I think they're from Artifact Uprising. That's the name of the company. I have some colored pencils for my coloring book, some random supplements, and then that's my computer. I also got this little thing from Amazon. I keep my mouse and my mouse pad in there, in here. I didn't know, <laughs> but I have an external hard drive and a lip balm, earbud cleaning kit because AirPods get gross. And yeah, an adapter. And then these are some pictures of my husband and I that we took in an event. And I have this Bluetooth speaker if I wanna listen to music in here and get kind of loud and ratchet, I could do that. I also have this for my tissue. I have gold, basically everything, gold and white. Everything's gold and white in here. Of course, green has to be in here somewhere. This is my map that I ordered customized a couple of years ago or a year ago or so. And it basically shows everywhere I've been in the country and outside of the country. I still have a couple places I need to mark, but that's what those push pins were for in the drawer. This is actually a dining room chair, but I'm using it for my desk chair because I like it. And it's unique and it's not like one of those traditional spin around chairs. I like it. These are some things I need to drop off to be dry cleaned. So I have those there for now. Under here, I have some filing cabinets and I have my surge protector and a couple of other important papers. And basically I use those I organize computer ink, extra wires, like if I need extra charging cables, printer paper, office supplies, like rulers and tape measures, things like that. They're all organized in each drawer, but yeah. And of course my garbage is also gold. Here, I have some steps for little Tyson, cause he doesn't need to jump from the floor here. So he has steps that he walks up, but they don't work for us. They're really soft. So they're great on his paws. And down here, I have more random things. I believe I got these from Target, also green. I think I have more PR stuff in these, so. Those one actually, my, yeah, that one has camera equipment in it. But the rest of them has like unopened stuff I need to shoot content for and all of that. This was an also, this was also a custom cushion that I got made, you know, specially for this bench in green. Of course. Here are some more of those necklaces. I think they're actually called tie racks, but I've used them for necklaces. So I have my bigger chains here in different colors, organized by color. And at the top, I have bandanas, head wraps, whatever you want to call them. At the top of here, I have all of my snapbacks from various teams and other stuff. I love my caps, okay? Here, I have a bunch of basics. So I have some bodysuits. I have some plain tanks. I also have a few things that are printed. Basically all basics. I need to reorganize this actually. At the top, I have my blazers and I have a few extra hangers. That's those. Also, these are not all of my clothes. Most of my clothes are actually in the master closet, which I share with my husband, but I decided to keep things like this here because they just look nice. This is my full length mirror. And it has a little door with stuff inside. So up top, I have some bathing suits. At first I was using this for strictly scarves, but I got rid of a lot of scarves because I don't wear a scarf really that much. So bathing suits are up here currently, a few of them. And then here I have a bunch of camera stuff, a lot of tripods. Yes, I use all of them, lighting. And I have extra clothing rods. In the event, I want to change those purse displays over there to hanging clothing or whatever, I can do that. And they're very easy to hang. I kept these because I might have wanted to switch back or something like I did before. I change my mind a lot. I tend to do that. At the bottom, I have blankets for taking product shots. So if I want to do a flat lay or something, 
And also, if little Tyson wants to take a nap, he can lay on those because they're soft. So they do double duty. What? Here, I have some bandana scarves. So I did keep some of my, you know, things for scarves. Up here, I have neck scarves, head scarves. Here, I have one little lonely designer scarf, but yeah. This is a knee cushion. I know it's random, but I don't like sitting down all day. It's not good overall for our health and all of that. So if I want to kneel and work rather than sit and work, I can do that. And that's that. It's very cushion. I think it's like memory foam or something, but it's very comfortable. I keep that in here. Up here, I have a bunch of ready to wear. So it's organized basically by color, not by brand. Here, I have some biker shorts. I have some tights, a couple of bralettes. Here I have all of my shorts organized by color, more shorts. These, I haven't found a home for this yet. These are some new tights from Amin and Mwadi and Wolford. It's from their collaboration. And yeah, I'll be showing those soon. So no need to open them now. <laughs> Down here, I have some shaping shorts and biker shorts and more, yeah, biker shorts. Mesh, lace, faux leather, because I don't do real leather as far as clothes. These both are lingerie drawers. The top one, I store bras and other, you know, unmentionables, whatever you want to call them. I have bralettes in here too that are rolled up. The bottom one is kind of random, <laughs> but I have socks, I have face masks, I have panties, and I believe I have like knee braces or something in here for when I need a little extra, what you call it? Support while I'm running, because I run a lot. And here's a headscarf that I use. I told you a lot of stuff is random. Down here, I have a bunch of slides, and this pulls out. I also have some flats at the back. These are all I own. I don't wear many flats, sandals or flats, so yeah, that's why I don't have that many. But yeah, it pulls out. At the bottom, I have like house slippers and stuff, because I have no more room to put them up here. I have another valet rod here. These are just some clothes that are new, free Britney. Britney. I have another Britney Spears tank. This was also a part of my other closet and I just added one of those blankets on there and Tyson likes to take a nap there. So usually when you're watching my videos and you see him behind me, this is where we are sitting. But yeah, that's basically it, I think. Yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the description bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks to California Closets for updating my closet or my clothes for me. Also, if you'd like to check out my beauty room, I'll have a link to that in the description bar. That can be found on my beauty channel. But yeah, rate the video, subscribe, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any luxury videos I post, and talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.